The UNDP of yesterday relied a lot on development assistance. Things have changed. ODA has gone down, remittances are going up, other forms of fiscal space is changing in the region. How do you see the future of development financing? And how do you think UNDP can take advantage of these new opportunities? You know, I just came from Nairobi, where I met the, the governor of Nairobi. And I told him there, you know UNDP is not the UNDP of your grandmother. It has changed a lot. We were set up in around the 1970s, where it was the realm of development assistance, really working on ODA. And this has changed drastically. There is a reality today. The development of all the countries in Africa is by far funded by national budgets and not by ODA. Very little is now funded by ODA. So UNDP needs to uh, adapt to this new reality. It is not so much, you know, being dependent on ODA. It is working hand in hand with the government, with the, the high sense of ownership, working to help them implement their own budget with efficiency, with transparency, so that it reaches the people with the maximum impact. It is also working with the, uh, with the development banks because there is a huge amount of concessional financing that is available. Really working hand in hand with development banks, with governments, and looking at this large project at scale, at national level, that will really make a concrete change to the citizens on the ground, and especially those that are the most vulnerable, because this is what we are about, really the leaving no one behind.